Oh, damn. Looks pretty good. Twin stick. You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So, little uh, 5.45 in the morning. It's actually gorgeous out, other than the smog from Canadian forest fires again. But, uh, pickups over there looking good. Last night was good. Hung out with Andy, had dinner, him, Jared, Nate. Yeah, got the full tour. Really appreciate him um, letting us stop in. There will not be a video because this was more of a personal entertainment, personal trip um, to see him. Because now that the GoPro battery is done dying, even though we're both YouTube people, it is nice to just hang out and uh, take a step away from the camera and just, you know, be humans. So, uh, Jonah was up before me. Well, I think he is. He's still on Australian time, so he's. A day ahead on everything but I texted him I said yep I'm at the trailer let's get going we got just about six hours of driving left um, we did two yesterday broke it up stopped and saw him and uh, we'll probably break up today's driving and we are gonna put something on this trailer so I appreciate you guys watching along like and subscribing being part of the channel and uh, let's dive into the day me and John have been doing quite a bit of driving around and when I'm riding in the passenger seat, I'm usually playing on my phone. I'd like to thank today's video partner, Fish and Clash. Fish and Clash is one of the most realistic phone games and can, allows you to fish all over the world from the comfort of a passenger seat of a pickup truck, comfort of your home, comfort of anywhere. With all this time in the truck, getting some action in, fishing some big fish, scoring big points, we're hooked. Get that combo. Got it. Clear no snake. Pretty epic. Go check it out for yourself. Download the game using my link in the description or use the QR code you see on the screen and use my special code DuffyAg to get a 20% value reward for free. With my code, you'll get a unique avatar, a mythical lure, 50 Luke power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. Go click the link down below. You won't be disappointed by the game. Well, we're sitting still on the highway, which really isn't a good thing. Road work ahead. Yeah, less than ideal at 7.48 in the morning. Well, made a bunch of progress, almost out to Buffalo. That's a ride right there. Well, we're about two hours from our destination and we're gonna get some breakfast. We're going to Waffle House. It's, it's a ritual every time I go past here. We're rolling along a little east of uh, Cleveland and jumping down 271 and holy smokes, we went from fog up in New York to not so much fog or smoke to uh, we're back into smoke from the Canadian wildfires again. So pretty insane how much it affects the world. Somebody said they, they had it down in Tennessee and everything, so it would have been a, it would be a really nice day, 78 degrees and uh, the sun ain't out, it's, it's kind of eerie. Almost to Stone Creek. I bet that looks pretty cool lit up. Old uh, cable crane. Yeah, we're almost there. Been a good trip so far quite the place here um so here we go 7720 with an eight row poly head on it it all looks good
We did not buy the 7720 though. Okay, that's a wide head. How are we gonna solve that? Comes with the cart. So I figured the cart and the head was a hell of a deal. So he'll set it on the cart. We'll back it on the trailer. And we'll be good to go. They do have an Xerion sitting there, which is pretty neat. Uh, 8770, party with 94. Quite a lot of gear. This is cool. What do you think? You pumped her on it? His visa says he can stay here till harvest. So that just sits right there. so you can put different size heads on it but the reason we got a cart is because going down the road you got to take it off so ohio always amazes me so he's had this for a year i don't know if he got it new or whatnot but it's a 500 xerion got it on the side slinger he said he's got a set of triples for it and they got a 960 class i think Did you say 960 you remember so they bought a big snap or big uh, 1293 head that's going on the chopper for snapledge, and then they put a six row on the 7720. So helps if I take it off all the way. You want to pull that one? If we bought them out, that's why we went down here. Skid steers are really, really good for that. They're gonna be a little wide. No deal. This is the most legal thing I've hauled lately. So, we got an 843 with the universe card on it, poly around. It's got some battle scar battle wounds and whatnot, nothing too crazy. Um, this poly kit upgrade is like four grand. Um, so Rollers have been welded a little bit on, but now that I'm here in person, I feel a lot better about them. As everybody says, it's gonna it's gonna be have a good life for me for a long time. So between the cart and the head, I think I made out pretty good. Well, I gotta go wash my hands off. We're right on the edge here. Cart's got lights, which is good. Yeah, strapped down, ready to rock and roll. Oh. Now we just gotta find a combine. Muti Dairy, um, established 1943. Pretty short place, torn along. That's a great all out, that, out back there. We found something that New Z uh, Australia doesn't have, great alls. So some ag bags, they, they went to a six row head on the 7720, which makes a lot more sense. Uh, 7720 with an eight row and good corn is a struggle. So that leads us to think we're not getting a 7720. Um, what was I gonna do? Find out where we're going. Just gonna check everything. Oh yeah, we're still good. We're looking good. So we got these folded up. So we're only like six inches over the edge. I could use a little, one little strip. Okay. That needs it. 
that's why you stop and check. We're about safety on the channel. Sometimes. Uh, we got everything over on this side. That's good. That needs a strap. See, things settle. They move around and go down the road a couple miles. Check it. That goes was with it. That one's good. And that one's good. So, alrighty. We'll keep going. Me and John are thir thirsty. Um, it's hot down here. What's the temp? 84. So, and humid because it's it won't stop. Thanks, Canada. We have the hookup. So we're looking good. Mountain Dew slushy. It's been a while since. Uh, if you're OG to the channel, we used to go to 7-Eleven in Billerica, and they had Mountain Dew slushies. And I thought the place was gonna burn down one day. I was real worried. I was never gonna have Mountain Dew slushies again. But I found it in I don't even know what town, Ohio, but. We are headed to a place we've been before on the channel. It's been two, three years, I think, now. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to see a little bit more farming and stuff. We are in Kent, Ohio. John looked it up on the Snapchat maps. Filters. So we'll get going down the road. Well, we're driving along. We're like nine minutes away from where we got to go. And I saw this beauty sitting in the field. And I, I pulled over pretty freaking quickly. So I'm going to walk over here and look at that thing. It's got a for sale sign on it. I'm not in the market. But Frick's in the red one first. Then I'm kind of hooked on the idea of a super liner. So I'm just going to walk up and check this out. Oh, damn. Looks pretty good. Twin stick. This is a nice cab. Holy smokes. This thing's wicked sharp. I like it. It's uh it's gotta be like an 80. I don't know. What's it got for a date? 75? 283 horsepower, 678. It's gonna oil fill there. Interesting. I had to stop. We're not buying it. It's not what we want for the future, but... Doesn't have a louvered front either. So I couldn't use it for some of the parts. Well, you could use it for some parts, but... I still can't believe how sharp the cab is. Like... A little bit of rust there but all the dash panels that whole top piece somebody updated that because that's not the original or they put a different cab on it they put a different cab because that has ac and this does not actually have ac in. i don't believe i saw an ac pump on it do you see an ac pump on it no so that's an updated cab compared to the rest of it that's why it's cool though. Glad we stopped. Corn head's still good. Straps are still good. All right, let's keep her moving. It's been a long time since we've been here. Um, me and Colburn, when we went west a while back, we stopped here at Smolowski Farms. I believe it's Andover, Ohio. I believe it. I know, it's been a long time. So. 
we might get a little torque here at some point but we're gonna drop the trailer here so we don't have to drag it around for the next two days and we're gonna go see some things unhooked we made it roughly two hours out of our it's like an eight hour ride maybe it's a seven i'll do a map quest from here and i'll tell you guys yeah so out of our eight hour trip we cut off two hours we got six hours exactly from this location holy he just scared the hell out of me you scared me so they're right after it with anhydrous still they've had a dry spring and now the water finally turned on and so i don't know if if these put in anhydrous i take it they're still planting and doing stuff he said they still had some more acres to go do so when i asked them one of those tanks will do roughly 20 acres it depends how much you're putting on and whatnot but uh -oh. we're gonna cruise around a little bit go see some things so we are actually headed to somebody who's been on the channel before gave us an awesome tour i figured it would be a great place to stop and show Jono since we're out this way and uh well they got some arm they got well, at least one arm model here at this dairy this is comp dairy outside of Ant uh andover ohio We've got a white looks like quite the place oh yeah they got grass down over here well oh, it looks like grass and there's a truck in front of us running Mars are out there. We we'll have to turn around. We're right at their shop, though. So, Jim and Jerry, Comp Dairy. They got service rig in there. Set of Pottingers out there on the. Oh, they got carts running. They got quite the lineup of all sorts of equipment blue tractors with the double rakes chopping out there no outlet we might just go down here and watch the chopper go by That is a unit, a white combine, a case combine, a John Deere combine. Holy smokes. Oh no, it's a Kloss. We're okay. It's a Kloss and it looks like they, they spread manure. It smells like they spread manure. You guys can't smell the smells that we do. So they got a wagon here. I don't see the merger or anything. Tiny little rows. Maybe they got some issue. Light crop, but when it doesn't rain and you're working on a uh, quality feed that's kind of what you got to do oh, I'll set you guys right there The rows are a little bigger, but they're not grouped much. So that's a T7 with a H&S cart.
I think the mo they're just chopping what the mower did. They might have the same issue that we saw with everybody that they got to merge it and chop it pretty quickly because it dries out because there's no moisture in it. Oh, he's going that way. <laughs> he gave you the way. Quite the little setup they got here. I'd say they milk a few cows. I'll get you the numbers when we're, we sit down later. They're merging it, letting it sit a little bit, and then chopping right away. Because um, that feed looked really, really good. So some alfalfa there. Uh, yeah. Those pottingers looked like they were doing a good job. So we just passed a horse and buggy, well, two of them in a row. And one of them had a Chevy uh, bow tie on the back of it, like off of a pickup truck. So they're, they're pretty, uh, well, that, that's all Amish there. They got the wood stove going in the milk house. Yeah. Wild. It, it is a different way of life. So That looks like it's Amish too. There's no power going out to it. So there is quite a lot of Amish in Ohio. Old dairy, I'd say. I don't think they're still milking cows, right? It's cool. This is definitely some ag, ag area. So Ohio. Ohio has a lot of ag, and as we all know, because we, we end up coming here quite a bit for, well, what have we bought in Ohio so far this year? 46.40, set of discs, now Cornhead. What have we bought before that? H&S box on the Mac, the chopper. I think that's it. Maybe. So, alrighty. That's where we're at. We're back at W.I. Miller and & Sons. And uh, they do a lot of anhydrous out in the market. And also, well, they farm for themselves. So quite the operation. I will put the link over because I'm just here with Jono. Maybe I'll show you a few things. But the full tour we did like three years ago, it was wild. Quite the operation here. I th when we were here last time, I think it was like 6,000 acres they ran of their own. I see they did a bunch of wheat. I did tell Clay we were coming. We're kind of on a time schedule, but not really at the same point. But we are going to dinner. So we got like an hour of wandering around here, looking at things, seeing stuff. John is living the American dream. So all of this is anhydrous. And then uh, that's purest form of nit purest form of nitrogen. This wasn't here last time. Hold on, we gotta get a full. John, you, you gotta buy one. What's that? <laughs> I told him he's gotta buy one. <laughs> Trade your truck in. So you still doing a lot of clearing? Yeah, that's actually where I was doing over right now. I'm over here off of about three miles from here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got two track hoes and another dozer there, and uh, actually it was, uh, uh, we got a big roam disc, you know, with blades about that yeah. tall. This is shop goals. That's how uh, you keep them nice. Yeah, he usually keeps the same. Pretty wild. So they were gonna plant with this, but they ended up planting the bean planter. They got one planter, two planter. I think they got three, and they got an eight row too that uh, does a small field. So it took to an anhydrous bar right now. I'm telling you, go back and watch the video. I'll put the link. It's all gonna be here. Cause hell of an operation. We got to ride around the buggies and get a full tour. Yeah. There's also a, a bit of a window as far as uh, it's got insert right there. It's 
stripper heads that they were using wheat and barley then they put soybeans back in so that's a 790 790 9 here's an eight row that has all of the bells and whistles oh it's a straight frame eight row everything except for high speed and then of course another one So that's your new. Well, we we're, the new ones on the other side. Yeah, they're very similar. I, mean, I think the new ones, thirteen hundred bushels. It says twelve oh five, but I think it's actually thirteen or fourteen hundred bushels. And Kinsey's still the best card. Yeah, I think. Yeah. They just got so much more innovation in them, and like they're just impressive. The control form's pretty sweet. Uh, Joystick control. I, I assume J and M has them too now. But yeah. Instead of you know using the hydraulic remotes. Yeah. You just have one this remote. Right here. One remote on and that's yeah, it. Yeah, and you can control everything on there. Hmm. Huh. On and off. You shut it off. You open and close the gate with it, everything. So how quickly does that unload? It's 750 bushel a minute. So two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Wild. But we hardly ever stuff that thing. Yeah. You always got trucks around, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because what's the furthest ground you would run? About seven miles away. Yeah. That's so, well, not bad at all. So we we run, you know, six semis. Yep. So it's the connections like that. Like, they've been awesome. We were here three falls ago, and they just talked to Clay, and he's like, yeah, stop on in. Show us around. Show us the new stuff, what's going on. Great people. They're gonna see about us uh, visiting a dairy tomorrow morning, down south a little bit. And uh, I really appreciate, the, the ag world is tiny, absolutely tiny, and there's a ton of good people in it. You just gotta open your eyes up and be able to tour around a little bit, see people and make all the connections and it becomes even smaller. And people are always open to showing their place off. And um, like I said, the video of them harvesting was absolutely epic. See that big rock there? They towed it out with a wrecker, I think, and they pushed it up there, wrecker and dozers, and that's where it sat. Never made it any further. So it's all in the video. Link will be over there. We're gonna go have some dinner, and uh, we'll see what we get into tomorrow. So very excited about the head. These are all the anhydrous carts, well, some of them. They, uh, they move a lot of anhydrous. So, appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'd like to thank Fishing Clash for today's partnership. Go click the link down below. You won't be disappointed by the game.